I'm 13 and in trouble again. And there she is again, like a roaring flame. She smells like incense and thick shea butter. Her gold bangles glisten in the mute 10 a.m. sun. When she swipes her hand, her bias sways. I remember the sting on my cheek and the silence of the morning guests. Dozens of eyes surrounded me like steam. She is oblivious, hisses out every name that she can think of. Stupid, disrespectful, unworthy. Someone whispers, poor girl. And I dissolve into the carpet until I am matted with ignorance. I'm 13 and I can't understand her. I'm 14 and I meet her again, this time in the humid bedroom back home. Someone misplaces a key to our luggage and suddenly there is a glaze over her eyes, her body rigid and stiff like an old machine, screws too tight for her limbs, twitchy and restless. My aunt touches her shoulder and gets burned. I'm 14 and promise to never become her. 16 and a stranger on the subway tells a homeless woman to get a job. I feel a cold heat in the center of my chest, bleeding out like an ice cube in a warm palm. My sister grabs my wrist tightly, begs me to calm down, but I am made of electricity and sewing needles. I stand up, lock eyes with the stranger. I'm 16 and I have become her. A couple years ago, someone told me anger is a secondary emotion, a weighted blanket over hurt, embarrassment, and shame. She buries these emotions until they are fog. She is just trying to protect me. Now when I see her, I am no longer afraid. I don't allow her to grow into something that I cannot control, but I owe it to myself and the people that I love to let her breathe, to feel it through. Every last drop. I have finally realized she is a part of me, whether I like it or not. My name is Lubin Ahmed, I'm 19 years old, and I'm a writer, and I find my ancestry in Somalia. So I feel like growing up, I found it really difficult to fully express myself. I always felt like some emotions were unsafe. In order for me to try and feel as safe as possible, I tried to divorce myself as much as I could from anger. It just manifests in my tone and the way I start speaking with people. If I speak fast already, I'm speaking even quicker, and I'm not polite at all. So I always used to think that anger was a bad thing, or an evil thing, almost, because it's caused me, I know, nothing but harm and trauma. Now I realize that anger is something that I have to express because I've had relationships where um, I will hold it in, and I will hold it in for ages and ages, for years even, and then it will come to fruition, and I bear no love for that person that I once loved so much. I'm resentful and I'm bitter. I don't want to experience a loss of friendship or relationship ever again like that.